Around a year ago, I packed my things and decided to move to Dubai. It started with a full-time contract-based job in Dubai. And with that, I visited him. I went on a business trip here to Dubai in March 2023. I was immediately impressed when I landed and I just got inspired by the speed of the city. In Dubai, everything moves so quickly and the city never sleeps. The feeling of being here was just like very nice. I never really considered Dubai before my first visit. Haven't really heard that much about it, but I just couldn't get it out of my head. So it actually like happened pretty fast after I got into my contract-based work. We I kind of like just discussed it in the start, but at the end, I ended up moving to Dubai using my own business and then also sponsoring myself through that and then just working as a freelancer for that company here in Dubai. So I had a lot of considerations before moving as well. I never really just do stuff. I really think about them, what are the advantages and also what are the disadvantages. And then I just started to think what really keeps me in Denmark. My job is remote and all my work, I can do it from my computer, my phone and so on. I'm not dependent on anything. I just need a laptop, my computer, internet access, and we're pretty much good to go with everything that I'm doing. My YouTube courses, AI career program, all my freelance work, and at that time, my full-time position. I have nothing holding me here in Denmark. Also, my income has increased a lot in the last couple of years. So financially, it will also make a lot of sense to move to Dubai. It's like there are more people in Dubai working 24 seven for the dreams and in Denmark, that is not really the case. I just still think that Denmark lags a bit behind and it's not only Denmark, it's a lot of countries and cities out of the whole world. But right now in Dubai, like you can walk out Friday evenings, Monday evenings, 2 a.m. like people just sitting at cafes with their laptops working at 2 a.m. in the night. So that is just something that I couldn't imagine before moving here. So I immediately just felt like Dubai was the better match for my mindset and also the style of living because that is also how I want to live my life be free, do whatever I want to do, and also just the life quality, the lifestyle and so on down here just matches way more compared to my life back in Denmark. So it's not like the life in Denmark is too bad and I'm really happy to be from Denmark. I have a very strong work ethic. I have a lot of things going on and so on. And there's basically only like three things that can make me stop work. And that is when I sleep, work out, and then when I'm able to go out, do stuff, go out for dinner, go to the cinema, go to some different festivals, concerts, comedy, and so on with friends and family. So I really Really like enjoying that but I try to work every single waking hour and there's just a lot of more opportunities down here in Dubai the city never sleeps you get way more motivated you always feel like you're lacking behind and then you need to put in the work because you're just getting reminded of that every single time you go outside and also just like the whole atmosphere down here if I don't have any plans I'll just work all the time work every single hour waking hour I don't watch television or like do Sundays on the couch it does it's just not for me like I really need like to push my stress tolerance all the time have something that I'm building providing value helping other people as well which is kind of like what motivates me so it basically just means that when you're living in a little country like Denmark like even though you live in the third largest city there aren't many things to do you can't go outside like everything is just closed after 7 8 p.m in the evening and sometimes I just get like caught up in work I have to go to the gym and so on and then the time just like ends up at around like 9 10 p.m in the evening and then everything is closed i can just go to bed and then just repeat the next day so i don't really feel like my lifestyle fits that perfectly to denmark compared to here in dubai where there's just so many other things going on and then if i feel like i can't go out have some fun like everything is shut down i might as well just work and then everything just comes down to working working and working and of course that can be boring over time as well if you just do the exact same thing over and over again it doesn't really give that much meaning to you when you can just pack up your stuff move to another country that would you feel you just fit more into the whole the whole atmosphere is just something different and you really need to get here to be able to feel it. So this led me to just sit in my office like all day working alone as a remote AI engineer. I then went to work out and also then just go to sleep. Sometimes I was play, playing computer games, went out with friends and family and stuff like that. But everything was pretty much just like around work. Denmark is also like quite expensive. Yeah, you can't go out every single day. It's pretty expensive to eat at restaurants and so on. And also the taxes is also a very large factor when I considered moving here to Dubai because 
if you earn a lot of money in Denmark, like you can pay up to 60% in taxes of what you earn. And again, doing business and, and so on in Denmark is not as easy as down here. Down here in Dubai, you can set up a business relatively easy. You can sponsor yourself. You can get everything going. And again, if you if you make under a certain amount, you don't even need to pay taxes as well, like corporate taxes or register for VAT and so on. So it just makes business way easier down here in Dubai and that's also one of the considerations behind it because I have so many things going on at the same time. So even though I made a great amount of money going out and doing stuff would still be something that I have had to think about because again I had to pay so much in taxes everything is so expensive compared to down here. So the range down here like it is just like way larger so you can go out in the evening have dinner and so on just a casual dinner for 10-20 bucks and you can spend all the way up to like thousands of bucks on a single dinner where in Denmark it is more like around probably like around 60 70 dollars just to go out and have dinner and that's not really suitable if you want to do that a couple of times a week and one of the principles that i want to live based on is the 70 30 rule so it basically just means that i want to invest 70 percent of my income and only spend 30 percent on expenses rent food everything like flight tickets holidays Pretty much every single expense has to be within that 30% range so I can invest the other 70% back in my business and also investments on the sideline. And if you're taking like my full income, you take 60% in taxes and then try to live off those 30%, it will not really be possible in any way and probably not in most countries out there in the whole world so like the tax benefit as well makes that possible and i can invest in myself i can invest in other people and so on the tax benefit is not the only factor but of course it is a big one because it is such a huge amount of your money every single month that you just feel that you can spend better otherwise on other people on other things that you just feel like makes the most sense if people are saying like I didn't move to Dubai because of the tax benefits, like they're probably just lying. Um, but again, it is not the only thing. There's also people just saying, okay, oh, you only moved to Dubai because of the tax benefits. And that is not true either. There's so much other stuff going down here and all the relationships, the opportunities and so on that you have. You can't get that in most parts of the world, at least if you're living in smaller cities and also just your lifestyle, the way of living, it is just something different, like a city that never sleeps. It is good for money, personal growth, keeping up to speed, just pushing your stress tolerance. And that is one of the most motivational factors for me is helping other people and pushing myself. So when I got to the decision, like pretty much the only thing keeping me in Denmark that, that made sense for me was my family. But with the amount of money that I was saving in taxes, I could fly home all the time. I could even be able to like buy them tickets to come visit me. I could pay their rent, all of their expenses and so on. Like you can just keep on doing that. Like if you pay a huge amount of taxes, you can just take all of that money and basically just like pay all the expenses for your whole family instead and also in dubai there's a lot more opportunities as you mentioned before both for having fun business which just meant that my lifestyle would get a serious upgrade and it just gives you way more opportunities like you can shoot better content you can have better business contacts you can go out, do stuff, and you just have like this whole setup. So when you're working remotely, doing a lot of work on your own, you have your own business, YouTube courses and so on, like most of the work, a lot of the work that you're doing is pretty much alone. And if you just get into this bad cycle where it just where it's all just about work at the end it will just not make sense for you and you'll of course need to do some modifications make some changes to your lifestyle i don't even have to think about like now going out having fun because like there's plenty of room for that now with my 70 30 plan and i definitely recommend you guys to try to do that as well like try to invest and save as much money every single month so you can start to build your future as well because that is going to accumulate and you'll get compound interest over time and it will just set you up for a way better future, even though you're not making a lot, like just the smallest chunk and the smallest amount will make a huge difference in the end. At the end, I was just like, why even make all this money if I can't spend it on having fun and creating the lifestyle I want without just being taxed every single where I went. Also in Denmark, I love the year is it's pretty much just like cold, rainy and cloudy, actually just really bad and gray. An upgrade to this would be nice, like, if you live in a place with weather like Denmark, you know the tiredness, the darkness, and like what the winter brings, which always leads to more sadness, depression in your life. You don't really feel that productive. You just go want to go to bed too early. You don't have the motivational factors. You just keep pushing you because you're not really getting sunlight. When the weather is good and the sun is out, it just feels like you get filled with energy and everything just 
seems easier you feel more productive so being able to get that light and energy from the sun to keep you up with your productivity is also something that i've noticed as a huge advantage and also change in my daily life so that's pretty much like all my considerations when i moved to dubai and i don't regret any of it it has probably been the best decision in my life i moved here i've lived here almost a year now while my personal brand has grown the business and the work that i'm doing and also just personal development it has improved my life quality significantly i would never regret it if you're considering moving to dubai definitely throw it down in the comment section more than happy to answer any of the questions that you will have if you consider it like i'll definitely recommend it to a lot of you guys out there at least if you're like technical if you're able to work remotely internationally as well that will be ideal try to fit your own lifestyle around it see what makes the most sense for you these are just my considerations and also what i took into account my thoughts before moving to dubai but I've heard from a lot of people like these considerations, these thoughts are pretty much like what everyone is thinking about before taking this step and moving to Dubai. So I hope this video here have helped you a ton. And if you're just about to take this step, I'll definitely just jump into it. Like you can always go back again. The worst case scenario is where you are at now. So definitely just jump into it. So we also have an AI career program if you want to learn how to land AI jobs and get AI freelance work. I teach you everything in there. We have programs, all my technical courses, weekly live calls, personal help. And I'll love to have you guys in there help you out in any possible way. You can check out the program down in the description and the community. And then I'll just see you guys in there.